they decided to adopt her and renamed Lela as Lisa. The former captain of the Australian cricket team was ranked as the leading all-rounder in the world. Originally named Lela at birth, she was born in the beautiful city of Pune. Her biological parents could not give her the upbringing she needed. Thus, they left her in an orphanage called Srivatsa, which was attached to one of Pune's hospitals. Harin and Sue, Lisa's adoptive parents, were a couple from Michigan, USA. Harin was born and bred in Bombay and Sue to English parents. They had already adopted a daughter and were visiting Srivatsa to adopt a son to complete their family. Sue fell in love with her big brown eyes and within no time they decided to adopt her. They completed the necessary legal formalities and renamed Lela as Lisa. Three weeks after her birth, her family brought her to the United States and they travelled on to Kenya before finally settling in Sydney. Lisa was introduced to cricket by her father in backyard games, saying, I think cricket runs in the blood of all Indians. Lisa initially played against boys and wasn't even aware that there was a women's cricket team until her father took her for a test match between Australia and England. She then joined the Gordon Club in Northern Sydney where she played against the boys on her weekend mornings before competing against the women in the afternoon. Lisa made her debut in the Women's National Cricket League late in 1997 and 98 as a specialist bowler and was soon called into the Australian cricket team. Playing as a bowler, she made her one-day international debut against England. In 2001 and 2, Lisa developed into a front-line batter. She made her first half-century, compiling four in all for the season. Lisa struggled with the ball in the next two international seasons, taking only eight wickets in 12 matches. But she did break through with the bat at international level, making three half-centuries in six matches. In early 2003, Lisa made her test debut against England, scoring a 120 not out, her maiden century in what was only her second match. In internationals, she returned to her form with the ball and averaged more than one wicket per ODI. Lisa played in each match of Australia's unbeaten 2005 World Cup triumph in South Africa taking 7 wickets in all and scoring 55 against India and taking Australia to a victory. During the 2009 World Cup held in New South Wales and Canberra, Lisa was Australia's leading wicket taker with 13 wickets. Lisa, the former captain of the Australian cricket team, was ranked as the leading all-rounder in the world when rankings were introduced. She was the first woman to score a thousand runs and take a hundred wickets in ODIs. She announced her retirement from cricket one day after the Australian cricket team won the 2013 Women's World Cup. In August 2020, she was inducted to the ICC Hall of Fame. She has become an accomplished cricket commentator since calling time on her playing career in 2013. She was thrown in the deep end when the main opportunity she got was in 2015 when a manager contacted her saying the IPL wants to have female commentators and if she would be interested. She said yes and two weeks later he rings her up saying you're in Eden Gardens. 70,000 people and a director screaming in her ear. Her first stint and one of many more to come. In 2022, Lisa made history when she became the first woman president of the Federation of International Cricketers Association. Destiny has its ways and Lisa must have been God's child for she got what was written for her even after all the adversities. I make new videos every week so you should subscribe to see more.